Aloha, my relations. Baruch Ata Adonai Elohenu Melaka Halam. Asher Kiddushanu B'mitzvah Tzavet Zivanu Al Natila Hanefesh. Blessed Art Hogatila, our grandfather, our creator, who has sanctified us concerning the cleansing of the spirit. Today, I want to talk about something that occurred a couple of years ago when I finally uh, was able to uh, trace and make contact with paternal family members around and about York and Harrisburg and Steelton, Pennsylvania. Uh, I came into contact with uh, one of my sisters and her daughter. Actually, her daughter found me and it turned out they were closely related. I also came to learn who my real father was, that it wasn't the person on paper, but it was uh, that individual's brother. Okay, and now the rest of the story, page two. Things went very well with my sister, and down the road, she informed me of an, a younger brother who, I guess, believes that he is the eldest. Well, to keep this story at its barest minimum, I'm informed by my sister, this is a, little, a few years ago, that he will not accept me unless I submit to a DNA test to prove I am from that family. I guess he doesn't want to give the glory up of, 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 of being the oldest, which he is not. Uh, certainly uh, it can't be that anybody feels I came to take anything from the family or to get anything from the family, which isn't the case. Family is family. There was a time that family was in fact thicker than water. Well, in these sociological and civil and even spiritual religious dysfunctional days well you know the rest of the story on that one okay back to back to this uh, oh, this younger brother I am told as I just mentioned that he demands that before he will accept me, I have to undergo a uh, DNA testing. This individual, this brother, just so happens to be a reverend, a pastor, in his own church, mind you. Do you think he should know better? <laughs> I sure do. You know, I can anticipate the potentials that, you know, many people believe that Yeshua uh, is about to return, and you know the rest of the story, I won't get into that. I can just picture Yeshua, aka Jesus, knocking on this brother's door. <laughs> and my brother opens the door and says, yes, can I help you? And he says, uh, well, I, I'm Jesus, and I come to see how you're doing, say hello, and let, you know, find out if you're ready, because, well, it's time, guy. So my brother says to Jesus, well, how the hell do I know you're Jesus? Uh, I don't believe you, Jesus. Well, Cutting to the chase, there's a whole lot of ways that Yeshua would have and may have addressed it. But um, picture this, my brother telling Jesus, Yeshua, well, I'm sorry, guy, but uh, you're going to have to prove that you're, you're, you're Jesus to me uh, before I'll accept you in my home. Uh, you're going to have to go out and get a, uh, a DNA test to prove 
that you're Jesus. Well, <laughs> my relatives, I wouldn't want to be around if that day ever came. I wouldn't want to be anywhere near my brother or the home he lives in. I wouldn't want to be in the same neighborhood. We all know the story about what Yeshua did on the Temple Mount with all the money changers and the profiteers and all the other financial predators even then on sacred holy ground. What would you people do if a stranger came knocking on your door or sent you a letter or even gave you a telephone call or in these modern times uh, you open up your Twitter or your Facebook account and you see a request for friendship by somebody that you don't know somebody that says oh I'm your long lost sister or I'm your long lost uh, brother or nephew or niece or whatever bada bing bada boom what would you people do think about it Somebody knocks on your door and says they're Jesus. Would you send them on your way and closing the door and locking it behind them? Thinking, oh, just another crackpot. Just another loony bin. A lot to think about, people. A lot to think about. But there's one thing. All right. I don't care how modern the times have become. I don't care how dysfunctional people have become in the society uh, that we have allowed to mold us into what we become. You don't turn away family. You don't, you don't snub your nose at people when you're walking down the street. Somebody smiles at you and says hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Turn the other way and keep walking. Hey, I don't know him. I wonder where he's after. I wonder where she's after. And you reach your hand behind you to make sure your wallet is still in your pocket. I don't think I need go any further on this. Make K aloha my relations. Make K aloha my relations. Be well and God bless.